It's your buddy Drew here, and I'm gonna show you how I make my whiskey fire beef jerky. going it's been a while since I've been in front of the camera and I don't know why but so we're gonna go ahead and do this talking head bit part here and we're gonna go ahead and rock and roll with some beef jerky because it's kind of lousy outside so um, and all my intentions today were actually to go out and film and actually do some really cool b-roll so well, I'm stuck indoors it's raining um, I don't have waterproof equipment so yeah we're gonna rock and roll with some uh, with some of the base ingredients here and you can kind of substitute what you'd like um, and it doesn't really matter with some of these where like in this case here it's your your choice of barbecue sauce. I choose a uh, sweet and spicy base. You can choose your whatever you like. Um, it works perfectly fine. It doesn't really matter. It just gives it something to kind of wrap the meat around to start your marin. We got our ghost chili paste, crushed ripe pepper, Cajun seasoning mix, azu sauce, sriracha sauce, green chili extract, and a sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. And last but not least, the Jack Daniels, the whiskey part. And it's about one shot of whiskey for this recipe. So that's the ingredients. <coughs> oh, hang on a second. Jason, whiskey chug challenge accepted. Oh man. All right, give me one second. We're gonna change cameras. Green chili extract, crushed red pepper, sriracha, some azu sauce, and the Cajun mix. Take it in your little zippy bag here. I get a little safety roll here. Make sure I don't spill all over anything. Give it a good old shake, like it owes you some money on board Friday night. Yeah, there you go. Just leave it in there. And I like to let that marinate for eh, overnight. So.
Mm-hmm.